Welcome to episode four of my interview series where we get to meet some local business owners, that's that little bit better. Today I'm with Mick Spiller from Sino Purchases. Uh, Mick, tell me a little bit about Sino Purchases. What do you actually do? Uh, thanks, Michael. Well, we are primarily a purchase company. So Sino, meaning China, and yep. purchase, yep. purchase from China. Okay. So we, we act on customers' behalf and assist with the supply chain from China, whether machinery, consumables, manufacture, or assist with manufacturing in Australia. Okay. So a whole range of products. Fantastic. So if somebody comes to you with a requirement, you can go and source it in China or is it the other way around? You source the product first and then somebody comes and buys it off you? Um, no, 90% of the time it's they'll come to us with a product or an idea okay. or a, a need yep. and then we'll sit down with them, go through all the specifications and yep. details. Yep. So, and it's a multifaceted business too, isn't it? You don't just import uh, furniture or anything like that, you, it's machinery and a whole range of items. We, we've been operating for just over 18 years, yep. so we've touched on just about every product. So it sounds like you do a bit of everything, so how did you actually get involved in this sort of business? I was in China on a management contract and I had that many people ask me to help them with their supply chain. Okay. It sort of fell in place yeah. and they needed people on the ground. So I actually lived in China for 15 years to start this business. Wow. So I've only been back here four years. And you, you mentioned uh, these new innovations uh, and I can see one right behind me here with the Aussie wall printers. What's that all about? Well this one we, we've came across ourselves so we've taken on the Australian distribution for the Oz wall printers, so that's wall printing Australia. So these machines will actually print murals on the wall okay. or the floor. So you could print that onto the whole side of a building if you wanted to? Yes. That's yes, amazing. Can. Any that's size, the first print will go 2.7 metres high by as long as you want. Yeah. You could then stitch the print and go higher again. So you wow. can go as high as you want, to be honest. No, this is a pretty big image anyway. It and, is, uh, yeah. yeah. You can it's never have too many jokers. Is it ink or what is it? It is ink. It's UV curable ink. So it does, it sprays the ink on the surface. At the point of contact, there's a UV light that does cure the ink. So instantly the ink is cured on the surface. Wow. Um, we could print this if you're in a restaurant, coffee shop. The next night you could be serving customers. So yeah. it's, it's instantly cured and in safe, no odours. It also does white which is quite a new thing for the printing industry, it's a yeah. CMYKW. So Mick, it sounds like you've got fingers in quite a few pies, uh, lots of different options for purchases uh, from kitchen cabinetry right through to wall printing. All right Mick, well thanks very much for your time today. Uh, good luck with the business. Uh, if anybody's looking for something that little bit out of the ordinary uh, and maybe looking at securing it from China, Mick's your man. Thanks Mick. Thanks Michael. All right. Thanks,